So how do you qualify leads? Let's, let's say, for example, we've got a source of traffic. Um, we want to improve the actual quality. Um, what, what, what steps are you taking? So the qualification of leads is very important. Um, and it does, it does differ from niche to niche. Mm -hmm. So prime example with regards to um, whether a lead qualifies is to do with, let's say you are um, doing debt and you want to put them into an IVA. To put them into an IVA with debt, you need a £6,000 debt level or above. If you're below that, you can't fit into an IVA. It's a debt management plan. Yeah. If you are looking for um, equity release, then generally speaking, you need to be over the age or you're looking for pension, um, like switching pensions. You need to be 55 plus on the age. If you're below that, you can't do it. So there's qualifications there in place. It could be age. It could be money. Um, it could be someone just asking simple questions of like what your budget is. Mm -hmm. What's, if someone turns around and says, okay, does a lead qualify? And I was looking to, to pay for leads and I was a conservatory builder and someone comes through and I try to sell a lead to a conservatory builder. And when they, when they speak to the customer, they say, I've got a 500 pound budget. Well, no conservatory can be built for 500 pounds. So then that doesn't qualify. Mm -hmm. So I think it's very important for lead generation companies to make certain they've got qualification of leads set in place. Mm -hmm. But then it's also very important for the pe the customers to make certain both the lead generation company it, it qualifies, but then also the lead generation who's dealing with a customer, especially if like at Fat Rank we do a commission-based only service. Yeah. So we only get paid if they convert. So we've got to make certain, do they qualify to be able to deal with our leads as well? So I think there's two aspects to it. But like, what would you do with regards to, if I came to you as a lead generation company, and I was saying, I need qualification of leads. Like what type of contact forms and stuff like that would you be using? So I, I, I'm, a big, I'm a big, massive fan of multi-steps because you can ask a lot more questions and it doesn't look too daunting as well. So for example, um, going back to, your pensions or like some of the pre-qualified questions. There's there's certain um, places in, in the UK right now that give out grants. Um, so if, say for example, you're looking for solar panels, if you plug in like a certain postcode, it'll tell you if, if you get a certain grant or not. Um, so you, you can ask them like the, the postcode um, and then you can also ask them like, have you got like a budget in mind? Um, and then you can ask them the, the, the normal standard, what's your name, um, what's your email, your telephone number, where, where do you live and stuff like that. But you, you kind of need to have a multi-step there because otherwise if you've got all of those questions, some, somebody might look at that form and be like, oh, this is too daunting. I'm, I'm not even going to fill it out. So you're also playing into like the conversion rate optimization side of, side of the things as well. Um, but that definitely does help because like for, for like like what you were saying, a lot of people, they don't know um, that they need a debt level of £6,000 and above to be able to enter an, into an IVA or a lot of people, they don't know that they need to be uh, above the age of 55 to swap pensions and stuff like that. So having those sets of questions on, on your actual contact form can save your sales team a lot of time. Yeah, for sure. And all, none of that is that from a lead generation company point of view, right? That let's say, I'll give you an example. If you're a mortgage broker, right? And you are brilliant at dealing with remortgages, yeah. right? And you only want remortgage leads. If you go to a mortgage kind of lender who, sorry, a mortgage lead generation company, and they were giving you first time buyer mortgages and you wasn't good at converting those leads, that lead doesn't really qualify. If you're saying I want remortgage leads, you as a lead generation company then need to start providing remortgage leads for that customer. Mm -hmm. So what you can do is one of the questions on the multi-step form saying, is this a first time buyer? Are you looking for a remortgage? Um, and you can start asking those questions. If this tick remortgage, it can go through to yourself as being a mortgage broker. It's brilliant for remortgages. But if it's not a remortgage, it is a first time buyer there'll be another mortgage broker out there that would want those first-time buyer leads yeah. that might be able to help them, that might, there might be certain initiatives in certain areas, like you said. So they might know and might be better at dealing with lower-end um, 50 to 150,000 pound first-time buyers, right? Mm -hmm. Where someone else might be low, I only want remortgages 200,000 pound plus. So having that qualification of the leads with a multi-step form and being able to distribute those to the right, customers is very very important and i think that these 
potential business owners that's looking to team up with a lead generation company, they need to be asking for certain criteria and they need to be saying, I want this criteria, that criteria, and that criteria. And if you don't fit those criteria, I'm not paying for the lead. Yeah. Because otherwise you're going to be paying for certain leads on a paper lead basis that just do not qualify, that you could not convert, yet you're still having to pay the lead generation company like money for that. Mm-hmm. So I think it's important for, for business owners to have those qualification process in place and put it to the lead generation kind of company. Over at Fat Rank, we do a commission-based and a, like a no-win, no-fee-based lead generation service. So we won't charge you a penny for the leads. So there's no qualification put in place because you don't pay. If we was to send you a first-time buyer-type lead and you wanted only a remortgage lead or someone didn't have the budget for what you was looking to do for your service or your product, you don't pay for anything. You only pay on converted jobs. But on the flip side, we have a qualification process in place that you're good enough at converting the leads. You're going to respond fast. You've got a professional email. You've got lots of case studies and testimonials and stuff like that online. If you are looking for a decent quality lead generation company, head on over to fatrank.com, go to the contact page, fill in the form, and hopefully we might be able to help you. All of our leads are pre-qualified, so you should get the right type of leads.